Eagles Nation, what is up? Tom, views from the Link TV. Sorry for the bad lighting. Um, it's kind of got dark out, and I wasn't able to do the video till now, but still wanted to drop it. It's Bird Buzz, and it's the first time uh, I've been on since uh, – you know, the, the L.A. Rams game, I was at the game, and uh, it was a great game. And unfortunately, obviously, the elephant in the room, just to address it now, Carson Wentz uh, towards ACL. He's out for the season. Um, and, you know, that's, uh, that's obviously upsetting. Um, and I would be lying if I said that, you know, I wasn't really upset, you know, a couple, couple days after the game, absolutely. And, you know, I'm still going to be upset about that. It's our franchise quarterback, and he goes down with that injury, but – um, you know, you got to move on and you got to just keep trying to win games and, and clinch the one seed and just make the most out of this season. You know, it's, you know, it just is what it is. It's, it's, it's a football season. You just make the most out of every season that, that with the guys that you have on the field and do what you can. So, um, we're gonna, we're gonna have to see what, how we can do, uh, without Carson Wentz. And, um, you know, it's, it, it's, it would be crazy if Doug Peterson could, muster up uh, some wins, get the one seed and get, get some, get a playoff run going uh, with Nick Foles. That would be, <clears throat> that'd be a really big credit to not only Doug Peterson, but Howie Roseman and getting, uh, getting all these guys in here, buying into the system, um, you know, getting guys that were good fits and bought into the system and t- to the point where, you know, you don't have to rely on just one player and we've suffered a bunch of injuries, you know, already this season. And it's tough to, Tough to lose your franchise quarterback, though. That's for sure. And we're just going to see, you know, what Nick Foles can do in there. And um, it's going to be tough to overcome this loss, this injury, more so than the others. This is this is a this is a crazy uh, situation that the Eagles have been faced with. And you know, season goes on. Next uh, next man up has to be the mentality at this point. So we're going to just get into the questions. You know, went on a little bit of a rant there. Um, you know, probably going to get some, some questions about it. So I should have saved it for then, but those are my initial thoughts. And <clears throat> let's just get back right back into the questions here on another Thursday. This is bird buzz. That ninja Zay asks, why do the football gods hate us so much? <clears throat> um, <laughs> great, great first question. Um, it just seems like that sometimes, huh? It seems like, you know, Oh man, we have all this stuff going our way. And then this happens. Well, you know, don't, don't pronounce that until, you know, things come to fruition. Let's see, you know, how this team does and just kind of keep a positive mindset. Um, and, you know, is it, is do the football gods hate the Eagles if they still go to the Super Bowl? You know, that's, I wouldn't say so. So <clears throat> we'll have to see how they play here, but it does, you know, I, I said the same thing. It just feels like we're cursed sometimes. And um, you gotta, you gotta move forward though. You gotta, you gotta see how you can do. Uh, we'll, we'll see how they do, but it's a good, you know, I feel you. I feel your pain. Uh, Zay, I really do. Uh, Vinster 700 asks, which team do you think poses as the biggest challenge for the Eagles in the playoffs? Um, I like our chances at home against basically any team. I think Seattle gives us trouble. Um, and I, and I believe that, you know, any of the teams are really tough, you know, even with Carson Wentz, that was something that I could say is that, the Vikings, the Saints, the Rams, the Seahawks, the Falcons, the Panthers, they're all tough teams. So um, we have to go into this, you know, into the link with the playoff games. And um, we have to bring the, you know, bring the playoffs to Philly, basically. That's, that's what we have to do. And that's, I mean, there's nothing, there's nothing really more, more left to talk about. It's just getting into the playoffs, getting your matchup, whoever it is. You know, all the teams are tough. So it's going to come down to, who who rises to the top? Which team rises to the top on that given day? And uh, it's a good question, but you know I really do think that this NFC playoff bracket is is pretty loaded this year, and it's so competitive. And I'm just glad to be in the position that we're in right now because we have the playoff spot clinched. Uh, we clinched our division, and we're actually headed to being the number one seed, which would clinch home field. And that's in a loaded playoff bracket with things just going crazy right now. Uh, even with Dallas and Green Bay at seven and six trying to make a one of those miracle runs in Green Bay getting Aaron Rodgers back, I'm just glad that we're above all that. We're, we've got our work cut out for us to get to where we want to be, and I think that all of that will really benefit this football team going into the playoffs, being the one seed. I, I think that that's the biggest thing that we have to focus on right now. So all the teams are tough, but I think if we just get that one seed, we have a chance against any of them personally. That's, that's my opinion. So <clears throat> F H 
ST5546 asks, do you believe the Eagles will still go to the Super Bowl? Man, it's it's tough to tough to see Carson Wentz go down and think that this team's going to be playing at the high level that they were playing before before his injury. However, I know what I'm getting in Nick Foles, and it's not the worst situation you could have if you know guys step up, make plays, which they've done all year. I think this team is just as good as any team. Um, the run game has to be, you know, click into another gear. Nick Foles has to threaten teams downfield. The receivers need to help out. Um, everyone just needs to rally around really um, a team that seems to just keep overcoming things, keep overcoming injuries. I think that if if they just rally around each other like they've been, I think they can. I think they can make a run for sure. So we'll have to see. That's you know that's obviously not the answer. You know, not a strict direct answer, but. I'll say, yeah, I do. I think that, you know, why, why, why stop now? Why stop believing now? It's time to, uh, time to, time to show, show what we can, what we can do really as a team. And that's, you know, I, I think they can do it. So I'm going to say, yes, Eagles still go to the Super Bowl with Nick Foles, clutch throws, big turnovers, sacks, um, just clutch plays. And that's, that's what's going to take just gritty effort. And I think that that, that's something this Eagles team does have. And, that you'll t- people will start to realize, wow, this team is isn't just one guy. It's really even even when it's the quarterback, it's really a team that's well coached and has young players that are full, uh, forming into their own, and they're not going to fold under any type of pressure. So let's let's see how they do. Aesthetics.png asks, "Are we one and done?" No, I do not think so, as I just explained. And even if they don't go to the Super Bowl, I still believe the Eagles will play in the NFC Championship game. They have to get home field advantage. And if they do that, the NFC Championship game will be in Philadelphia, and I'll probably be there. So um, I might sound a little a little biased in that opinion, but that's what I think. Billy Eberling 28 asks, Will Nick Foles be the same Nick Foles he was in 2013? My answer is it's a different offense. He does know this offense. He was drafted into this offense and played in Kansas City in this offense as well. Colin Cowherd talked about Nick Foles when he has an offensive-minded head coach, Andy Reid, Chip Kelly, now Doug Peterson, versus when he played under Jeff Fisher, who had Case Keenum, Jared Goff, and also obviously Nick Foles. Those three quarterbacks now will be in the playoffs. Goff and Keenum with larger sample sizes post Jeff Fisher, those guys are going in an upward direction. And you have to think that obviously the offense, the offensive line, the receivers, even the defense will all help a quarterback. We saw it with, I mean, everyone. I mean, you can you can look at Alex Smith, Dak Prescott. Um, you know, those guys are guys that They don't, they're not flashy. They don't do anything crazy, but they just know their reads. They know their offense. They make correct decisions. They don't put the ball in harm's way uh, for the most part. Um, I know Dak has struggled this year. Uh, That's obviously been noted. And Alex Smith at times as well. Every quarterback struggles, but let's not stray off topic. Those are guys that make the right throws. They make downfield throws calculated. They they aren't as much a gunslinger mentality, but they're still quarterbacks that can win games. And Nick Foles has proven over his career that with a good team around him, with good coaching, with with a supporting cast, he isn't a detriment, but he can win games. He can help a team win games. And you don't need to make it look pretty. You don't need to do all that. You just need a guy that's going to help you win games, not hurt you, and you know you go down and you lose games. So... It's it's all really up to one one question. What is this team made of? And that's what we're going to find out. Eagles Giants Sunday afternoon. If you're going over to MetLife, get loud for that away game. And then the link for Christmas. You better light it up like a Christmas tree. I will not be going. Originally was scheduled. Now not not gonna not gonna make the trip out. Um, Like I said, NFC Championship was more my thing, so I will be out in Philly for that weekend, regardless if we host it or not. Flight's already booked. Hopefully we do host it. That will be my next game. But hey, look, the focus right now, the third to last game of the season, MetLife. Get a win. Nick Foles, get your feet wet. Defense, offense, everyone start rallying, start this thing. This is it. It's 
it's it's simple. It's it's Giants, Oakland, Dallas, playoffs, playoffs, Super Bowl. Unless you get a wild card, which I doubt. I think one or two seed is 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 pretty much locked in. So let's just say they do get the one or two seed. Then it's going to be NYG, Oakland, Dallas, bye week, playoff game, divisional, at home, and then NFC Championship. Just grind out a couple wins. You just need the next two. You don't. Dallas is, is pointless if you win the next two. It's not going to mean anything. Win these next two games. Take a two-week rest. Let Nick Foles continue to practice with these guys. Get some chemistry. And then you have a divisional playoff game, an NFC Championship game, and a Super Bowl game. Three games that you have to go out and give it your, your all. If Of course, if you advance. But Nick Foles doesn't have to be spectacular. He doesn't have to be the 27-2, and two, uh, you know, 2013 Nick Foles that Billy Eberling wanted to know if he'll be. All he has to do is not cost us games and help us win with big throws. I think that he can do that. We have a better run game. We're support, you know, we're supported by that. We have a uh, top offensive line in the league. We have weapons that can make plays, and they have a defense that's opportunistic. And it it, it will all come together if they just rally and they make it happen. And Nick Foles, he'll he'll be closer to the 2013 Nick Foles than he would be to any other Nick Foles that he's been because this team and this cast and everyone around him helps. So that's all I got to say. Nick Foles debut. 2017 debut at least Sunday and I'm anxious to see him play. Uh, I think a lot of fans are and we'll just see what happens. Uh, again, if you're at if you're going to be over at MetLife for the game, let's get it done. Fly Eagles fly.